It's been great. Um, you know, I think, first of all, the person having him here, um, he's just, he's, he's a, he's a great dude and, and just a, a really good pro, um, just has a really good way about him, understands, I think, who he is, um, is willing to make necessary adjustments along the way, is confident in his ability, and and I think he's in a really good place physically as far as, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I think he feels really comfortable with where he's at physically that he knows he, you know, now it's about preparing, executing, and his body is able to respond. Thanks, Aaron. Yeah. Hey, Aaron, uh, how tough is it to put together a lineup without Luke Boyd in it, uh, the way he's been swinging the bat? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Luke will probably be in the next three days. It's just the way the the series lines up and the pitching matchups and stuff like that. Um, it, this was the most logical way to go, I, I felt like, today. But, um, so yeah, of course, I want I want more guys in there. You know, we're t I was talking to Marcus, we were kind of working... <clears throat> excuse me, walking through, it was like, and we had 11 guys in there today. You know, you want the different guys in there, but, you know, <clears throat> Luke will probably be in there the next three days, but tonight this way made the most sense. Excuse me. <clears throat> Aaron, uh, getting Gio back, uh, how much does that change your lineup and your and your defense? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Gio's been such a good two-way player for us over the last couple of years. Um, yeah, so to get him back in there over third, Rugi's done a great job sliding over there and, and um, you know, has helped us win a lot of games this year. Um, but it's definitely nice getting Gio back in the fold and, and now, you know, you know, Ruby's still going to be a big part of this, but um, definitely nice to get <clears throat> more and more guys, more and more hands on deck, and hopefully helping us win ball games. By the end of this trip, you're going to get to add two players um, up to 28, September 1st. Mm -hmm. It's a little different than past years where you can add as many guys as you want or a bunch yeah. of guys. So how do you anticipate one position player, one pitcher? Do you have an idea what you want to do yet? Uh, no. It, um, you know, obviously health of certain players will, will play into that and, and who's back and ready and available. Um, you know, where are we at the end of this trip? Are we online with, you know, four bench players? Are we down to three bench? You know, those, all those things factor in what happens over the next several days. Um, you know, obviously from September 1st, things can change from the first to the fourth to the, you know, so, um, uh, there's a number of guys that are going to be candidates, uh, which is a good thing. Um, you know, we have probably a number of guys in that fold, in that mix, and we'll make the necessary decisions when it's time. Do you like it better this way of, you know, not having, you know, everybody has 10, 12 extra players? Yeah. Yeah. I think it, I think it should be like this in uniform like this. Um, you know, that said, I think you always, you know, as, as a manager or as, coaches you know you always want the, the more options and the depth and allows you to protect everyone but I think you know competitively speaking I think this is a good thing